Hey friends, if you're new here, my name is Johnny and I'm a software engineer at Meta. And here's my guide to preparing for FANG interviews in 2024. In most cases, technical interviews are basically all the same. You may find small differences from companies to companies, but most of the top tech companies all have the same process. Now I know FANG interviews are notoriously difficult and intense, but because the format is usually uniform, you should be able to prepare every aspect of the interview. So here goes. Step one is mastering data structures and algorithms. You can pick up a good book like Cracking the Coding Interview or go through some course like Algo Expert. There's actually a plethora of these choices. You just have to find the right one. You can also grind just LECO questions, but my recommendation is to follow some structure format when you're getting started and use LECO as something to supplement your learning afterwards. So there isn't really a hard set rule on how many questions you need to solve or practice beforehand. But a good rule of thumb is you should be able to finish most medium questions in 10 to 15 minutes and be able to solve hard questions with maybe a hint or two. Essentially, you want to get to a point where if you see any problem, you instinctively know or have a good feeling of which direction to take the problem. Is it a tree problem? Is it a graph problem? Do you need a stack or a queue? Once you get to that point, you'll kind of know that you're ready for the interview. Step two is a little harder to prepare if you don't have relevant experience, but it's basically system design. There are some pretty good online resources. I'll link some of the ones that I've checked out in the past, but essentially this will be actually really hard for you to grasp unless you actually have experienced it. Also, it kind of depends on what your specialty is. If you're front end, back end, full stack, cloud, data, and like whatever your specialty is, there will be a system design specifically for that. For general system design materials, I think rocking the system design is a good one. Algo Expert has one called Systems Expert. I think those are pretty good. Now to practice system designs, it's okay to read through solutions and etc. but it, you really need to try to understand kind of the larger concept and link it to the problem. Like you don't want to just memorize some solution and try to regurgitate it. System design is more about a conversation between another engineer and like you need to be able to discuss trade-offs and things like that. So just memorizing a solution is not going to be that efficient. Step number three is to prepare for behavioral interviews. Now, I strongly recommend to not skip out on behavioral interviews. There have been many cases that I've known of where strong coding and strong system design was good, but they failed on behavior. There are many companies that I know of that will straight fail a candidate because they just don't fit culturally. To prepare for behavior interviews, you should actually just reflect on your previous work and try to grab the nuggets of your work that is worth talking about. Make sure your examples are well organized and well thought through and then you really distilled your impact for that piece of work. For my behavior interviews, I like to prepare my answers in a star format, which is situation, task, action, and results. So I highly recommend you trying some kind of format like this that will essentially prevent you from rambling on. Keep your answers concise and to the point. Now, most large tech companies have some kind of core principles, like Amazon is really famous for that. Essentially, you want to look at the website of the company that you're interested in, look for their core values, and try to weave those core values into your answers in your behavioral interview. Now, the final step, and I think a lot of people just actually skip this completely, but it's doing mock interviews. If you're lucky enough to have friends in the industry already, I think that's like a really good source of mock interviews. You could ask them for a favor to give you interviews. And if you can't find this, or if you're just not surrounded by people in this industry, you could also try to leverage paid mock interviews. Now, if all of that fails and you don't really have that resource, I think just doing interviews, just getting your reps in, doing interviews, and practicing via actual interviews is another way to get mock interviews. And that's basically it. The FANG interview problem is essentially a solved problem, but by no means is it an easy one. The sheer amount of things you need to prepare and study, it can be overwhelming and very challenging. I would say a timeline of about one to two months of like two hours a day prep is probably a good amount of time for most experienced engineers. Now, if you're already familiar with all of this stuff, like data structures, system design, and like behavior, like if you've already gone through this, obviously this is different. And that's it. That's my quick guide into preparing for FANG interviews in 2024. Like I said, this problem is already solved to a sense. Everyone kind of knows that you need to do these steps if you wanted to get into FANG. But I hope just like laying it out like this will encourage you to try. I hope you all land your dream jobs in 2024. Also, if you're interested in my journey on how I became a software engineer at Meta, take a look at this video I did a few weeks ago. 
and don't forget to subscribe, leave some comments if you have some further questions, and I'll see you next time.